The fruit is the proof. Look at your name and say, the fruit is the proof. You know what's so strange about us as people? You'll look at your fellow brother and sister, and you'll say, how they get all that? How they get that house, how they get that car, how they get that good job, how, how you even look at somebody, man, how you get that good man? Y'all know I'm telling the truth. Somebody got to say it. You'll look at what somebody got and you'll be wondering how they get all that. But then you never went, you never seen them in the background. You didn't see what they had to put up with. You didn't see the stress. You didn't see the time they put in. You didn't see the hours and hours of studying and laboring. You didn't see what's in the background. Only thing you saw was the fruit. Now, if you see the fruit, how can you fix your mouth to say they don't know what they're doing? If you see the fruit, see, fruit is the proof. Because there are two types of fruit in the Bible. You got the fruit of the Spirit, which the fruit of the Spirit is also proof that a person is living a spiritual enriched life. They are living a non-fleshly life, but a spiritual life. That's proof. The Bible says you shall know them by their fruit. But your labor, your, the, the outcome, of what you put into something also means fruit. That's why the book of Ecclesiastes says that enjo- tells us to enjoy the fruit of our labor. When you labor, you have fruit from your labor. You have the outcome of what you have sown. You see the outcome of your fruit. Even when you see somebody that you've been talking to, you've been trying to minister to, and, and, and it seems like you say, wow, they finally got it. And you go home and you say, wow, they got saved today and they finally got it and they got saved. That's fruit. Amen. Watch this now. If you go to the hospital when somebody on their deathbed and you go and lay hands on them and you get a call the next day and say they were supposed to die tonight. And you ain't tell you didn't tell nobody that you prayed for them. You didn't boast. You didn't brag. But but you sat down and you paused for a minute. And the Lord tells you that's the fruit. The outcome of something that you did. Oh, y'all didn't want to catch this. And some folks may say this and that the other. Well, the Bible told you to heal the sick. You cast out devils. You raise the dead. So when you see these things happening, that is the fruit of something that you obeyed according to the word of God. 